Hi, this is Kara from Darling Vulgarity. Today I'm going to talk about a brand that I've been following for a few years now. Doan is a sustainable brand. It was founded by two sisters. They are women run and when they're looking at manufacturing partnerships or any other partnerships, they look for other brands that have women in leadership positions. The owners are also mothers, which I can definitely relate to. Their prints and their designs are inspired by the California coast. It's very 70s Joni Mitchell. It all looks like it would be perfect attire to hop around Laurel Canyon in. Many of their models are midsize and plus size. Doan came into my mind as something to talk about because they just released a collection with the Gap. This seems like an odd collaboration to me because The Gap is not known for sustainability or fair labor practices or anything that Doan has always said that they stand for. That being said, I like that the collaboration makes Doan pieces more accessible to more people because I do think they design really great, beautiful clothes. I have quite a few Doan pieces, so I'm gonna show them all to you and talk about them a little. The first dress that I'm gonna show you is the Kyra dress in the evergreen winter ditzy print. This is a size medium. I typically wear anywhere from an extra large to a 1X. However, a lot of Doan dresses are very elastic and so they have a lot of give. This was a really difficult dress for me to find. I actually got it in one of the Hand Me Doan events. For Hand Me Doan, customers sell their Doan pieces back to Doan, then Doan resells their older pieces secondhand. This color is everything. It's 100% organic cotton. I really love the princessy sleeves. Here's a close up of the sleeve which I just think is so unique and cute. You can wear it on the shoulder or off the shoulder. It has these drawstrings so you can adjust the bust, you can adjust the waist. Let me give you a close up of the print. And I just love this dress. I love the shape, I love the cut, I love how comfortable it is, and I love that it's just easy to throw on and go out and still look very together. I also think this dress is very versatile as far as seasonality. You could wear it just as easily in springtime as you could during Christmas time. So another way that you could wear this and a lot of Doan dresses is just put a collared shirt underneath. This is just a collared button up white uh, short sleeve top with sort of a Peter Pan collar. And I think this makes the dress a little more doable for maybe a work day or if you just want to add some modesty to the outfit. I think Doan pieces are inherently pretty cottage core, but the Peter Pan collar to me underneath definitely adds to the cottage core vibe of this one. You can also make it a little more fairy core or boho by throwing a kimono or a shawl over top. Or if you wanna go 100% prairie with it, throw on a chunky sweater or jacket and a belt. This is a Sherpa jacket from a brand called Revival. If you have not heard of them, please check them out. They are 100% handmade, women owned, very small batch. It's the queen of Prairie Core brands. The next dress that I have on is the Isha dress in Night Songbird Paisley. The Isha dress is one that Doan continues to re-release in different colors and patterns. It is a little different from the Kyra dress, but they have some similarities. It has the drawstring at the bust. It has the drawstring at the waist, which again is also elastic. So the sizes do have a lot of give. It's another one that you can wear on or off the shoulders. I think the big difference is the sleeve doesn't have the elastic here and then the bell at the cuff and it's a little bit shorter this is more of a double puff sleeve and it falls above the elbow it's also a very nice loose elastic that does not feel tight or uncomfortable at all so I'm gonna give you a close-up of this print it's another ditzy print with some paisley incorporated the Kyra dress was hundred percent organic cotton this one is a blend of organic cotton and viscous and when I was scrolling Doan's website, I saw Drana May modeling this one. Gorgeous model and a fashion icon. And she looked so good in it that I, I just wanted this dress to look like her. <laughs> this one looks great with a wrap top over top of it. And since it's a darker print with a lot of just primary colors in it, you can get away with a lot of different colors of wrap top. This one is a velvet olive green. This is from Vixen. I love this top. They also have it in a midnight blue and a burgundy, 
both of which I think would look really good with this exact dress. So this makes the dress look a little bit more formal and a little bit more fall winter. I always love layering jean jackets because it's just a quick, easy, out the door, uh, fashionable thing to wear over top of pretty much anything. It can also be made a little more casual by throwing a flannel over top. And a trench coat with this one gives me really nice fall vibes. Uh, and while it's not everybody's thing, I like to mix and match a floral. So I put on this bold floral fabric belt. The next dress that I have on now is the Catania dress in black Parc Monceau. It is the first Doan dress that I bought. I got a really good deal on it off of Poshmark. I really just wanted to try out Doan and see if I liked it enough to spend the money <laughs> buying it through Doan. I did. This is an extra, extra large and it's about a size too big on me. You can see it's very low cut. The waist is elastic. Like the Isha dress, this is an organic cotton and Vicus Blend also has a similar print. It's a black dress with a floral ditzy print. The Isha had a little bit of paisley, but you can see the Parc Monceau is just a floral ditzy. In spite of being one size too big, this is a really comfortable dress. I love that the shape is a little bit different than the other two we've seen so far. I feel like those necklines were both pretty much the same. It's a deep V-neck. This sleeve is very different. It's a long sleeve. There is a ruffle at the bottom. This one is a little bit more 70s, a little bit more Stevie Nicks, a little more Daisy Jones, dark boho look. Because the Catania dress is more V-neck and low cut, I think it's a really great candidate for a mesh top underneath. So this is the Lady Lux layering top from Free People. It's in a really nice rust color. And I feel like it doesn't take anything away from the dress. It doesn't take away from the V-neck. It just adds a little bit of coverage, a little bit of modesty. This is the Nicolette dress in the Countryside Patchwork print. It is an extra large and it is borderline too tight. I mean, it is just fitting. You can see how the buttons are even pulling a little bit. It doesn't budge. There is no stretch in this waist or in the bust. I originally got this in a large and I could not even button it. I just think it is so unique and so pretty. One day I'm gonna wear it for a photo shoot with my son in our garden. And he can wear his Spider-Man outfit and I'll wear this and our color schemes will match. I just love a dramatic sleeve and this sleeve is so dramatic. It's so puff. I feel like this one really doesn't even need styling. It's just such a statement to wear on its own, but I do like the look of it when you throw a big chunky grandpa cardigan over top in a nice muted tone. So this one's kind of a sage color and then a little braided belt over top. You're sticking with the cozy country theme, but it's a nice layering piece and it's a nice alternative way to wear the dress. So this is the Winnie dress in black. It's one of Doan's older styles that again, I missed out on the first time around, but I was able to get my hands on a secondhand piece. Thanks again to Hand Me Doan. I think this is just the cutest little dress. It feels very French. It is another one that's 100% organic cotton. It is an extra large and again, Again, this one has no give in the waist, no give in the bust. An extra large is the size that I have and I could not possibly go any smaller. It has this really beautiful eyelet detail where the ruffles are. It has the dramatic puff sleeve, which I love. The ruffling is all around the collar and the back. And then I also have the eyelet detail along the bottom of the arms and where it ruffles at the bottom of the dress. So I'm 5'4", this dress is a perfect length on me, it's a perfect knee length, but if they made it in white in the next size up, I would definitely buy the same dress again. And since this is such a cute little dress all on its own, I would keep the pairing simple. You could throw a belt over it if you wanted, and a cute little bag to match. Okay, I should call this Doen Reviews Part 1 because I still have plenty left to show you, but I feel like this video is long enough and I've shown you enough things. If you liked it, let me know and I will show you more Doen pieces that I have. And I might try some of the 
Doan Gap collab pieces and do a review about that. Still on the fence. If that's something you would like to see, let me know because it could definitely shift me in that direction. Twist my arm to buy more clothes. <laughs> Leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite Doan pieces are. And thanks for watching.